Hey, what is going on with y'all, man? Look, I know I ain't show my face in um in a while, but in light of two of my recent videos, right? Now I think it was the video with Matthew Perry, and also the most recent video that we just did about X, right? So seems like every time I use the J word, which is Jesus, by the way. I get a lot of people in the comments that have a lot of disappointment in the fact that I'm using the name Jesus. Now, a lot of y'all ain't gonna have no problem with this video. A lot of y'all gonna be like, you wasting your time responding to them, this and that, which is, you right, you right. But like, I feel some kind of way when people decide to attack me over my beliefs and what I know to be true and what thousands and thousands of others know to be true, right? Which is Jesus, his name, speaking his name, what it means, the power that it holds. So in this video, y'all done had me pull out the archives of Pastor Stephen Darby. Now I know a lot of y'all have seen his videos You've seen them multiple times, but for this video, I found the perfect, you know, sermon from him for us to listen to, to remind some people. Now, why did I go to his videos? Because as far as the internet goes, he's the most trusted pastor that I've ever heard. You know, there's a couple, there's a couple out there and it's not even because he's black. Um, Carter Collin, I think that's in New York. He's a good pastor on YouTube. Um, Wilkerson, there's a couple, you know, they, they don't have to be black. They don't have to be white, but there's a couple that when you listen to them talk, you know, you can feel the spirit. You can feel where they're coming from. You know, you can feel the Holy Spirit, you know, it, it, there's no doubt about it. And when it comes to Pastor Stephen Darby, there's no doubt about it. You can feel it coming from him, you know, like it exudes. You know, when he talks about it, he's one of the best I've ever heard break down the Bible. Anything you want to know that has to do with anything, <laughs> as long as it involves the Bible, right? I'm not even going to talk that much because, you know, lately I've had people in the comments come at me like, yo, as a black man, I'm disappointed in you that you're using the name Jesus, and you're not calling him by his real name. Someone even told me, don't be disappointed when your savior doesn't save you. You know, when I die, don't be disappointed that the person I believe in is not going to save me because I'm not using his name. That's crazy. <laughs> because I'm not using supposedly what you believe is his real name. You know, and I find it crazy how people can actually sit there and basically decide your fate because of what they believe to be true. And the fact that they think, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus is, you know, is enough for the name Jesus and who we know to be Jesus to not to not be real just because we got a false image of Jesus they believe the name is it holds no power it's irrelevant like i said i'm not going to go in too much because pastor darby he said it perfect and when i found the clip it's like something pulled me to that to that video y'all know on his youtube he got hundreds of videos something pulled me to it and i think the title of it was um, Jesus will show himself or he will show you who you are. I can't remember exactly the title. I could probably pit it up when I start the clip, but this was perfect for the people that's coming in my comments. Now, this it's not many. I, I mostly find it to be other black men. And it makes sense because you know, the ones that really go hard, they 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 get in the comments, they telling me all this stuff. I'm disappointed in you. Somebody was like, I'm a patron and, you know, 
I'm, I'm sad that, you know, you can Google this and find out his real name. First off, I don't need you to be anything to me. I don't need you to be subbed to my YouTube. I don't need you to be subbed to my Patreon. <laughs> you know, I damn sure didn't need your comment, you know, because like I be wanting to flip out on people sometimes, but I've grown a lot over this journey of mine and I don't respond to much because it doesn't matter. You know, you're not me. I'm not you. My fate is my fate. Yours is yours. You know, no matter if you think you calling Jesus by his real name, you know, I just find it crazy how people can try to actually judge who I am because I choose the power in Jesus's name because I say in Jesus name because I know who he is because I have personally experienced it. But they think they can tell me different because I decide to use the name. You automatically think I don't know the truth and that I'm an agent or, you know, you think I do all this stuff on YouTube. You think I have this connection with the people that I have and you think I'm not aware of Jesus, of the real Jesus, of the power of using that name. Look, not even going to talk no more. I may come back in this video, you know, just to go at it a little bit more. But, you know, for everyone who need a reminder, check this out. The last days, he said, uh, be not deceived. Yeah. The Bible says in the last days, there'll be many deceivers. Yeah. So you have to know what the what because people are coming with this spiritism and you don't really understand. They're using pop words, buzz words, Christian words. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And most of this spiritism, most of this voodoo, hoodoo, all these little root working, all this stuff that your mom and them used to do and grandma and them did. And that old southern slave stuff. Most of that stuff is rooted in Christianity. They, they, they use Christianity to mask it, to hide it. Uh, Y'all hear what I'm saying? Especially Catholicism, but they use those uh, uh, make like it's, it's, it's spirit. It's, it's uh, uh, you know, make to, to make to mask it so people would know they were actually talking about the worship of idols. Are uh, you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And so you have to know that because, you know, these people will come and talk about, yeah, I love Jesus. I know. Yeah, Jesus is, you know, I love. Uh, but you don't know there's five, six different types of Jesus they talking about. There's a new age Jesus called Sonata. There's a Mithra called Jesus. All kinds of people. Everybody's going to be looking for Jesus. That's why he said when I come, when they say that I'm in the desert, don't go. Because everybody's going to be saying I'm Jesus. Amen. Why do you think they keep talking about Jesus? If Jesus wasn't real, why don't they leave Jesus alone? Amen. Why we keep talking about Jesus? Why the rappers is down to Jesus? Why everybody's talking crazy about Jesus? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Even these people that's supposed to have been the alien abducted, they come talking about the aliens abducted them. The alien was talking about don't like Jesus. That would let me know Jesus was real. Why is everybody focused on him after all of this? If he wasn't real, we would be done with talking about him. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all there? So you have to understand uh, who people are talking about when they, when they talk about Jesus or use these spiritual jargon because they could be talking about another Jesus. Are y'all there? Let me give you this and we're going to turn over here. Philippians, I say Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse uh, 10, real quick. 2 and 10. Verse 9. As God, as a result, God exalted him and gave him a name that is above every name. As a result, why? Because verse 8 says he humbled himself, became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. As a result of that, of, of that humiliation, uh, God gave him a name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and even under the earth. Amen. That's the highest authority. That's why they don't want you to, that's why they don't want the kids to mention it. That's why they want to take, take it out of, you know, they want to take anything Christ out of everything. They don't want you to mention, they want the name to be blotted out. Amen. Because the Bible says when you mention the name, demons will tremble. Amen. Amen. They hate that name. Why? Because authority will come with that name. They understand who is the conqueror. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. If you teach your children nothing, teach them to call on the name. Amen. Teach them to call on the name. When they get in trouble, learn to say the name. Amen. Sad they're getting in trouble, don't know what name to call, don't know, they don't know who God is. Call on the name of Jesus, amen. All right, let me show you something here. Turn over here 
So I'm turning down a little bit. I'll turn these monitors down. Not me, the monitor a little bit. Okay, go over to, to uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11. We're going to start at... So we're going to start at verse uh, 3. Are y'all there? Amen. Say, know the name for yourself. Know the name for yourself. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? You know, the Bible talks about there was uh, 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 some men that tried to cast out some devils. Uh, and they said, we cast him. We, we, gonna, we want you devils to come out of this person by the name that Paul preaching about. They didn't know the name for themselves. Bible says that that, that, that that demon possessed man just dumped on him and ripped them, rend them, yeah. tore them up. Why? Because they didn't know the name for themselves. It's not enough to hear about the name or know him through somebody else. You got to know for yourself the power that's in the name. Are y'all are y'all understand what I'm saying? Look at look at verse look at verse two. Now verse three says, "But I'm afraid that just as a serpent deceived Eve by his treachery, your minds may be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ." For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus, different from the one we proclaimed, or if you receive... Now listen, now, now Paul is talking about, now somebody, now people, in other words, people are going to come all the time and talk about another Jesus. That's why these, these false religions have to do something with Jesus. The, the Muslims have to make him a teacher. The Jews have to make him a, a, a what Jews uh, make him a heretic, actually. They literally talk, say he was a crazy heretic. Same as Paul, they say he was a crazy heretic. Um, but everybody has to do something with Jesus because uh, uh, they know it's all about Jesus. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. So they know they can't stop you from, from knowing that name, but they can stop, they can mix you up on who you're talking about. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. So as we come closer to Christ coming, you're going to see many Jesuses. Yeah. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? And you're going to have to know which Jesus are they talking about. Because everybody, uh, the, 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 the Buddha, the Buddhists, uh, the, the, um, the, the Buddhists believe there's a teacher coming. The Muslim believe the Muhaddin is coming, a great teacher. Amen. Are y'all there? Amen. Nation of Islam believe a great teacher is coming. Um, who else? The Hindus believe that uh, Shiva's coming. Amen. Everybody believe, every religion believes somebody's coming. And they all say he's this great teacher, this great enlightened one. Amen. Are y'all there? This is why they got the false image of Jesus in your mind. Because that's what the Jesus is going to look like, the false one is coming. Like the one you've always seen. That's why you, oh, that's why you ain't going to be able to recognize him because he's going to be here going to look like what you thought he looked like. Are y'all there? Can, can we go deeper? Uh, Pope Alexander had a son named Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia was a homosexual. He had a lover called Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, the one that wrote that stupid da Vinci code, got people even believing in more stupid stuff. He, 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 was, he, had a love, he, he was a, he had a love affair with Caesar Borgia. He the one who painted the I image of the Jesus that we see all the time. Amen. Say amen. amen. Yes, that white, long haired blue eyed Jesus was painted, was, was an image of Caesar Borgia, the Pope's son, or the son of God, which means he the son of the Pope because they believe the Pope was God, right? That's the image that has permeated, we grew up with it. When we close our eyes, that's the image we see. It's very important that they never destroy the image. In the Catholic Church, he's on the cross. Every time you see him in any religious setting, he's walking with no with sandals, and he has the same look. And you have never thought who 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 came up with this with the same look? Amen. Why? Because they're getting you used to this same look. Because this is the way Satan is gonna have to show up as that angel of light to deceive people to make him think. Why you think Jesus said, "Take heed that no man deceive you"? When they say Christ is in the desert, Amen. don't go. He said, "When I come east." You're going to see me like the lightning strike across the sky. I ain't, I ain't going to hide. Y'all there? Why? Because in the last days, people are going to be confused and deceived about who, who is Jesus. Y'all there? 